The mirror tool, activated by the equals key on your keyboard, is designed to either relocate or duplicate objects across a specific axis. You can either select the object or objects you want to mirror before you activate the mirror tool, or if you already have the mirror tool active, you can press and hold the control or command key and select the object, then release the key to return to the regular mirror tool. There are two modes for this tool normally, standard mode and duplicate. In standard mode, the selected object will be mirrored and relocated to the opposite side of the axis you draw out with the cursor. The first click sets one end of this axis, the second click sets the other. This axis is directly related to the view you're currently in, so if you're in a top plan view, the object will be reversed and mirrored without moving in Z, only X and Y. If you're in a front view, however, and draw an axis like this one, the object will move in Z. The location of the mirror axis is also important. For instance, if you draw the axis right along the edge of an object, the mirrored clone will appear immediately next to it. If you draw the axis far off to the side, the mirrored clone will appear twice that distance away in the same direction. The second mode, duplicate, leaves the original object in place, then creates the duplicate as well, leaving you with two copies of the original selected object or objects. A third button in the toolbar will appear, however, if you have an object selected that exists on a working plane. If this is the case, clicking this button will use the working plane as the axis immediately. You will not be prompted to add an axis as with the other modes. Nearly any object can be mirrored. This is a fast way of creating duplicates of objects that need to exist on two sides of a room. It also allows you to draw half of a complex figure, then mirror it to create the rest.